Okay, I think we'll get started. Uh, so we're continuing our discussion of the results of quantum mechanics for hydrogen. And today we're going to talk about the energy levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to develop the so-called energy level diagram for hydrogen. And we do that by starting with the quantum number rules. So let's review those rules. The quantum number rule says the principal quantum number n is 1, 2, 3, all the way up, unlimited. L, 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. M, 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, up to, oops, plus or minus L. So limited by L. And then S is always 1 half for an electron. And MS is uh, minus 1 half, indicating a spin down, and a plus 1 half, indicating a spin up. Okay. Well, uh, the energy is ah, a couple mistakes here. To get get my mistakes out before we get any further, so uh, En is minus Rydberg over uh, n squared. So the energy depends only on the principal quantum number. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the ground state. So that's going to be uh, where n is one. So let's take n equals 1, and let's now ask ourselves, what can L be? Well, L can be 0 up to n minus 1, n is 1, so n minus, so 1 minus 1 is 0, so L can only be 0. And remember, when L is 0, we call that an S subshell. Now L is 0. M can be 0, plus or minus 1, up to plus or minus L, but L is 0, so M has to be 0. And then S is always 1 half, and MS is equal to minus 1 half or 1 half. So we have two states. The 1, 0, 0, 1 half, minus 1 half state, and the 1, 0, 0, 1 half, 1 half state. Two states. So on this diagram, the vertical axis is the only thing that has physical meaning. So we could certainly put a dot here, but what is traditionally done is we put a line. Now. <clears throat> Uh, we may want to put, you know, we could put two lines here, right, indicating these two states. Uh, but that's often not done. That what's convention is that we write one line to represent the spatial part. And there's only one spatial state, 1, 0, 0, or a 1s, 0 state. So this is the... 1s0 state with the understanding that we can have a spin up or a spin down. And so we, we leave this empty with the understanding we could put an up arrow representing a plus one half or a down arrow representing a minus one half. All, both of these states are at the same energy. And when two states are at where two or more states are at the same energy, we call that a degeneracy. Or they are degenerate. And that's usually G is the symbol for degeneracy. So here G equals two. G equals two. All right. Well, let's We've completed the ground state. Uh, oh, and um, maybe I should be a little, I, I think I said this, but I'll be, I'll reiterate it. So we stick a one in here. So our energy is at minus one Rydberg. That's why we're way down here. Okay, let's try now the next highest state, which is n equals two. So n is two here. So now there's a big jump. We go all the way up to here. And now we have to figure out how many states do we put up there. So n equals 2. L can be 
zero, right? Or it can be one. So I'll put a big space over here and put it over here. If, if L is zero, then M is zero. If L is one, then M can be zero, one, or minus one. S is one half, and MS can be one half or minus one half. Here, one half, one half, one half, and then each one of these, I'm gonna write it, right? Each one of these could be plus or minus one half. These, L is zero, so we call that an S state. Here, L is one, so we call these a P state. Let's start, let's just limit ourselves to the spatial states. There's a one S state. So that's called the 2s, because n is 2, l is s. And then there are 1, 2, 3. So this is a 2s0. We usually don't write the 0. A 2p1, 2p0, 2p minus 1. So there are three 2p states. What's the degeneracy here? Each one of these could hold an up or a down. And so there are four spatial states, two possible spin states for each. So the degeneracy is eight. Okay. Well, let's do n equals three. Then l equals zero, one, or two. m here equals 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Well, let me write it like this. Minus 1, 0, 1. This will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Because L is 2, and we can go all these values. S equals 1 half. All the way through and again I won't write these but for each one of these MS could be uh, plus one half or minus one half these are S subshells these are P subshells and these are D subshells all right, how many are there? One of them are S, three P's, and five D's. And where are they? They are at one ninth. What's the degeneracy here? Eighteen. And so looking at our pattern, the next state would be one sixteenth, and we would get a four S zero. We'll get three four P's. We will get five four Ds. Whoops. Five four Ds. And 
and seven for Fs. Okay. All right, so now I wonder if you could grab your periodic table. So let's look at that periodic table and look across the top row. How many elements do we have there? Two, right? Hydrogen and helium. Now let's look across the second row, second and third row. What do we see there? How many total different elements? We have eight. Now let's look across that fourth row. Total number there, 18. Right? Where do we see these numbers? Right here. So the hints, the hints of the periodic table are already here in hydrogen. And that's amazing for a lot of reasons. One is we've just done the quantum mechanics of hydrogen, but because quantum mechanics is the right description, it's far reaching. So we actually will see these numbers 2, 8, uh, 18, and so on in the periodic table. Furthermore, let's look at that periodic table. The first two that we, we can kind of, it kind of breaks itself into two columns, right? The alkali and the alkali earth metals. Then the transition metals, right? which is 10, right? That's, that's, there's 10 right here. Those are sometimes called the D block. The, the alkaline, the alkaline earth, the, those two columns are sometimes called the S block. The transition metal is sometimes called the D block. The remaining columns in the main part of the periodic table is called the P block. Then finally, the lanthanide and actinide uh, elements. Now, you should check your periodic table. Uh, there should be 14 there. Some periodic tables pull that the lanthanide and actinide out all the way out and they put 15 there. I wish they didn't because this is where all this comes from. So there should be 14 there along the bottom because there's 14 different F block um, orbitals. So the lanthanide and actinides are referred to as F block. And uh, we, we would go further, of course, uh, but we run out of elements. Uh, and so all we need are, are the Fs. All right, now, this isn't the whole story for the periodic table, but we can see the hints of it there. And so we're going to have to wait till we talk about multi-electron atoms to see how the periodic table really gets its shape. But we're starting to see it already, which is pretty incredible. All right, so this is the, um, what we need to know about the energy levels for hydrogen. So practice this. Again, this is uh, the type, how you learn this is to just sit down, take a blank sheet of paper, try to write these out. Build this from the quantum number rules. That will really help you. So think about the quantum number rules and then just build up the energy diagram.